Hi, I'm Bill Babbitt from Owens Corning. Today we're at the Owens Corning Science Technology Center in Granville, Ohio. We've got three test homes here on site which we use for insulation, development, and an evaluation. Today we're going to use one of the test homes to install bats in an exterior walls and try and understand what happens when you do it right and when you do it wrong. Let's go inside and take a look. We all know there's a right way and a wrong way to install bats in exterior walls, but does it really make a difference? Today we're going to find out. We're going to make some mistakes intentionally in this wall and then use infrared photography to find out exactly what kind of difference it makes. And remember, the homeowner has to live with any mistakes forever. We've got some R13 fast bats here that are a little bit too short for the cavity, so let's install them the right way and the wrong way. Now you can see we've got a little bit of a gap here. I wonder if that makes much difference. We've got a gap here as well. Now let's go ahead and patch this the right way. I've pre-cut a small piece here to fit this gap and fill up that cavity. And then we'll tape it to seal the vapor barrier. Now on the flip side, this is a bat that's too long for the cavity. Now, the proper way to install this, of course, is to cut off the excess at the bottom and fit it in nicely. However, it's often tempting and faster just to tuck it in at the bottom. Uh, number one, you may have troubles with the inspector, but number two, you're also going to leave a gap here, and we'll see later on in the infrared if that shows up. Unfortunately, wall construction is not always perfect, and sometimes you get a wall cavity that's wider than standard. That presents a special problem for installing the bat because you've got a bat that's narrower than the cavity. Now the proper way to install the bat would be to cut a piece and fill that gap along the side of the bat. Unfortunately, a common practice can be to just open up that flange and stretch it out and just cover the cavity with that. Who knows that that gap's behind there. You're likely not to get caught by the inspector, but it does leave a big gap for heat losses where you do that. With competitive insulation, that's often easy to do because the flanges open up very easily, but it, clearly it's not the right thing to do when installing a bat. We've got a couple cavities here that are only about 11 inches wide, and there's two ways to do this as well. I've pre-cut this bat down to the proper width, so it's going to fit in here nicely and fill out the cavity. Now the lazy man's way may be to just take the bat, the full bat, not bother to cut it, and put it in. I think we're going to find this does not insulate nearly as well as a properly cut bat. We find a lot of nooks and crannies like this in houses, and uh, the easiest thing to do is usually find a piece of scrap you've trimmed off from something else and just wad it in that cavity. If 
You see this done quite often, and it does fill the cavity, but does it really insulate properly? We've got a couple of odd sized cavities here just to demonstrate a point. When you get something like this, you clearly need to cut a piece to fit this exactly and properly. I've pre-cut this piece to this space to give me a piece of insulation that's gonna fill out that cavity very nicely and fully. The other way to do it, and it's often tempting to grab a piece of scrap off the floor and just wad it in that cavity. And when you do that, you're really not gonna get it insulated like it ought to be. So that's something you really need to avoid. I think we'll see a difference when we look at the uh, video with these two cavities. One of the newer innovations from Owens Corning is the fast bat, which is just a, a flangeless bat for exterior walls. Now we know it's something that installs a lot faster than a standard bat, but also I think it might insulate a tad better as well. It fills out the cavity very nicely and it, it fills the cavity fully all the way across. Standard bats, as you know, can be friction fit or face stapled or inset stapled. Because most drywallers don't care for face stapling, the large majority of installers inset staple the standard bats. We know that you need full thickness to get the full R value. So what happens if you get a thin bat that doesn't recover properly? Hopefully you don't see many of those from Owens Corning. So I'm going to take this bat and just, just compress it. Smash it in to simulate what happens if you don't have full recovery. Now very often with exterior walls, you're going to encounter wiring like this. There's several ways to install around this. The easy way clearly is to just tuck in the bat and not worry about it. The proper way, of course, is to split around that wire. And uh, there's different ways to split, but the important thing is that you tuck the fiberglass behind the wire so the cavity is filled completely and properly. Electrical boxes present kind of a special case. Uh, ideally, you should foam behind and around the box, or at least insert fiberglass insulation behind the box to prevent the heat loss through the box. In this case, we're just gonna cut and tuck, which is, is a, a fairly common practice. Well, we said you need to insulate properly around the electrical box, which means either putting fiberglass behind the box or else foaming around the, the box. Now, I think we can safely say this is uh, an overkill. This is a lot of foam, but uh, it'll certainly, uh, certainly do the job. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this behind the, the wire and put the bat into place. And I've already cut this bat to fit neatly around the box. So we've got the foam there We've got the bat and facing neatly cut around the box. So I think we've got a pretty good insulation job, right? Well, the hard part's done. We've got all the walls insulated. Now the fun begins. We're gonna go ahead and put the drywall up, wait for a cold morning, and use the infrared thermography to see what these walls look like. It should be very interesting. 